Hi guys, today I'm going to show you um, how to update the Visual Composer plugin. So um, a, a lot of you have been having issues with um, once you've done your theme updates or whatnot, it seems like that's broken the front end um, builder for this plugin. So as you can see, like on this Visual Composer um, page, there's so many comments on here with so many people complaining that um, it's not working as you can see you know it's quite a popular plugin with around 130,000 sales and with 12,000 comments and I was looking through this and there's just so many comments with the same issue saying um, they've just bought the plugin but it's you know still buggy that sort of thing so I found the solution to it and it's actually really really simple so um, firstly log into your WordPress dashboard okay so I'll just show you the issue that most people are are experiencing right now um, so let me go ahead and show you so this is for my website at the moment I'll just let it load for a second so as you can see here um, this is the front hand side and if you click on here and have a look as you can see over here um, just underneath the visual composer just on the left hand corner how you see this wheel just keeps turning around and then you'll see you know the visual composer icon here but as you can see um, if you notice how the interface should look like nothing has loaded um, and it stops you from adding the elements that just doesn't work so um, this is the solution to it so what you need to do is with whatever theme that you've got just make sure you've got the latest theme on and then just go under um, your plugins all you need to do is to deactivate it delete it and then reinstall it okay so this is what you can do go ahead to your plugins panel on the left hand corner and then go ahead and find um, this visual composer and then go ahead and click on deactivate so I'll just let that load here. It's just taking a while. Okay, and then as you can see, it says it's currently inactive, and then now you've got to delete it as well. So as you can see, the Visual Composer, go ahead and click on delete. Okay, so, you, so it comes up with an alert saying you are about to remove the following plugin. Are you sure? Just go ahead and yes, delete these files. Okay, so once you've done that, um, all you need to do is install it back. So whatever theme that you've got running, um, you will see on the top here, it'll automatically show up that once you've deactivated the theme, it'll say, this theme requires the following plugin, okay? So just go ahead and install that back. So begin install plugin. Because what happened with um, this Visual Composer, they recently updated that, and I think that was just a couple of days ago. So, um, and that's been just having so many issues with not loading. So go ahead and click on install. So just waiting on that to load. Okay, so it says plugin install successfully. And then you just go ahead and go back to your plugins page. And then it says here, you need to activate it. Go ahead and activate it. Great, so you've got it back on um, activated here. So it says the following plugin was activated successfully. So go ahead and go back onto your page and refresh whichever page you need to edit. So it's just refreshing, just letting that load here. Okay, so as soon as you do that, go ahead back up here. And ta-da! As you can see, um, you have all the elements back on here. And that's it. So you can go ahead and add it like you usually would. And you've got everything there back, back on. So as simple as that. Um, so thanks for watching, guys. Please um, subscribe or leave a comment below if you like this video. And thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.